Hey, it's me, your Twitch chat. What? What are you doing in my room? Why don't you just go back to sleep, buddy? No, I... What? what why, why are you, you here? Why back to sleep, my man? You can't be in my bedroom. That... It's not okay. Wait, what What uh -huh. are you doing with that? What, 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 what is on that? What's why on? Why don't you just no, 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 go back no, to no. sleep? Hey there, old sport. Oh god, where am I? Oh, uh, hey, Dave, yeah, was it? you got it. Say, have you checked the views on your day shift video? Uh, no, I don't think I have. I mean, it's not an FNF video, so it's not gonna do that well anyway. Maybe a short sure, old sport. Oh, shit. You promised to play the second game when it hit 50,000 views, didn't you, old sport? Well, I did, but you made me do some fucked up shit last time. A deal's a deal, buddy. Now let's get you in a suit. Are we at least going to Vegas after? Of course we're going to Vegas. Let's go! Let's get this done. We're back in hell, aren't we? What Day Shift at Freddy's 1 ending will you continue from? What was the ending where we went to Vegas? It was gnarly. The gnarly ending was the Vegas ending. Where's was gnarly? I like, the, I like the Vegas ending. Welcome to the new and improved Freddy's. Thanks for responding. Most people don't want to work here after what happened at the old location. Uh, are the rumors true? No, nothing could be further from the truth. Is this the same phone guy? Is this the same phone guy as in the first game? Fredbear wasn't even in Reno on the 24th. That is propaganda spread by those candies, burgers, and chips, asshole. Oh, wait. Wait, did you mean the last location? Oh yeah, I guess so. Uh, uh, Essentially, we're hiring you, hiring you here to work the day shift. You'll be wearing mascots, costumes, delivering pizzas, cleaning up messes, all that uh, kind of stuff. Uh, you ever work in one of these joints before? I worked at the Colorado location back in June. Uh, you know. I didn't. I didn't mean to hit that. Aren't the police looking for you? What are you doing here? I'm pregnant and Foxy is the father. This is already off to a great start. What did I say about yiffing that darn fox? Are you that hecking darn fox? Uh, 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 After you get the job, you can go see him. He's in the parts and service. Okay, good to know. Don't you remember me, Papa? Uh, 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 no, not really. Are you sure we've met? You're not either of my two children, are you? Uh, uh, I'm not paying uh, child support. And if I did anyway, I'd have to pay in Freddy Fraz Frat Faz, Faz, Faz Kruger's tokens. So unless your mom wants a pencil topper, uh, you know. You seem to know what you're doing. Our grand reopening's tomorrow. You know, there's children in the building right now. It's literally packed. There's people, okay. Can I eat her bird ass like in the first game? So I'm not gonna lie, the beginning of the game is very similar to the first game. Phone guy takes you on a pretty good tour of the entire building, explaining what your duties are. The only difference is there's now a timer in the top left corner where you have to wind up the music box for the marionette from FNAF 2. And there's some new characters like Jimbo the janitor and Ronaldo the dough master. Our master chef is named Ronaldo. He is the dough master, the master of dough. He makes the most mediocre pizza. Uh, what the hell is that noise? That's the mangle. Basically too many people have yiffed the damn fox. So we make it less sexy, but someone keeps tearing it apart. I'm pretty sure it's Dave. Uh, uh. Dave is back? Now that we're here in the office, we can start our job interview. What's your name? My name is Geese. Oh, wait. I remember that name from Colorado. No, you don't. Any past in crime related activity? I worked at the last location, remember? We're both well aware of what I did to Foxy. I was involved in num numerous pyramid schemes, and I'm the one who started the oil fire of 79. I worked in the last location, remember? Oh, yeah. If you say any, please don't mention who you are. They might try to bash your head in with a mallet. I know from oh, experience. Do you have any medical issues we should know about? I'm sexually attracted to robots. I have the gout. Sometimes I cough up metal pieces. When I pee, there's blood. When I pee, there's blood. Wait, is that not normal? It seems like you're an acceptable, an acceptable medical condition. Now, since you've already worked for Freddy's, you've already signed our contract. No need to sign it again, pal. They already own you. Okay, uh, let's head to the stage. It's the only way we can go. Well, that's not the stage, so. What are you doing out here? What are you doing in the hallway? Hi. Gertrude, I apologize. Both, 
Oh, Mangle. Hi. Talk to the trash pile. A-L-M-A-O. Stick your dick in the trash pile. No, I think I'm good. Pick fleshlights out of the trash pile? Fleshlight time. You found two fleshlights. Thanks. Oh, it's you, old sport. Hey, Matt. Well, good to see you again. Welcome to the new location. Remember me. I'm still mad. Everyone still loves me. I love you, Matt. I oh, yes, some things never change. Yes. Um, I'm gonna wind the music box. Okay, it's back here. Oh. Hi, Toy Chica. Devour my oven baked pavian behind, orange man. Don't tempt me. Devour Chica's oven baked avian behind. I can't do that. The knife man cometh. Who is the knife man? These hips don't lie. No, they don't. They are on oath. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hit. Let's head to the safe room. Oh, we have like a like an actual like game menu now. That's kind of interesting. And then let's put on. We're gonna put on Spring Freddy because that's the one we're supposed to put on. Hi, hi, Freddy. <gasps> dog. Oh look, a doggo. A doggo. Another oh, one. Look, a doggo. I'm gonna give you moral support. Number 15 gas geese. You can see a gas geese sitting at his table right now. Thank you. I'd drop kick you any day of the week. Thank you. Golden non-plastic me. I needed that. Ask Toy Freddy a question. What would you like to know, my child? What is your favorite song? Anything by Smash Mouth, really. Of course, I, I feel like that. This video, this game is clearly dated, bro. <laughs> uh, what does suffering feel like? It's the only thing that I know anymore. Oh, the bathrooms. Hi. Hi, dog. Hi there, fella. Oh, how cute. He thinks he's people. Okay, bye. I'm gonna piss. A str no, not on the spring lot. Oh, come on. Real is it gonna kill me? Is it gonna kill me because I fucking piss? No shot. Come on, dude. Oh, wait. Really? Pissing with the spring lock suit on? Honestly, you don't even deserve to die in the safe room. Just die on the urine soaked floor. Yeah, that'll teach you not to die in company time. Please don't sue. <laughs> what the fuck is this game over screen? In the last game, it kind of made sense because it was like, you're like in a suit. So after killing myself by pissing in a fur suit, chat was pretty adamant about me putting on the Spring Bonnie suit instead of the Spring Freddy suit. It's important to note at the beginning of the game, Phone Guy said never to put on the Spring Bonnie suit and to only put on the Spring Freddy suit because the Bonnie one is Dave's. Okay, so you guys want me to put on Spring Bonnie? Is that what you were telling me to do? Put on the wrong suit. You guys trying to get me killed? Wait, what's going on? Oh. It's me. I'm back now. Wait, who's this? Wait, what? Don't they remember me from the Red Feathers? Uh. I never killed any kids in Fred Bears. It's me. Time for us to deal with you once and for all. You fucking eggplant. No, eggplant, I'm not Dave. Stop, you've got the wrong killer. You fucking eggplant. You killed us. You I didn't kill you. I didn't kill you. It was you Dave. It was Dave. What did we do wrong? It was Dave. It was Dave. You fucking, you fucking eggplant. You killed us. You monster. You can never leave. You killed us. You bastard. What did we do wrong? Wait, no, I'm not your killer. You're not leaving. Only this is what I'm paying for. You swing your luck faster. It's the least we can do. Not, not, not the tickle life. fingers! No, please. You monster. 
you kill this. Oh no. Not tickle fingers. Tickle fingers, no. You spring a lot faster. No. I hate I darn it, I hate getting my testicles torn off. Ah! You kill this. Looky here. Well, Dave. We've met a gruesome end, eh? I'm going to seal this room up, you know. You're gonna stay in that suit forever, you know. That's what you deserved, you aubergine coward. Finally, Freddy's will be rid of you for good. No, please, I'm not Dave, I'm uh, Geese. Uh, oh, you're yeah. trying to trick me? Nice try, but that's your suit, not his. I told him not to use the spring bonnie to make sure there wouldn't be a mix-up uh, this time. Uh, you can't trick me this time, Dave. You're getting sealed in here forever, and that's final. Hey, you can always play with these with the spare heads. I'm sure they won't be that boring stuck in here. Fuck. <laughs> the sealed off ending. Is this what I think it is? Is this censored? Hi, Foxy. Let's talk to Foxy. Okay, I think we have to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Harder father. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Spank me harder, daddy. Oh, yes. Uh, you know. Hey, I heard banging in here. What's all the noise? Why did it show it? Why did it show that? Nothing happened. Foxy did not exist. Fredbear does not exist. Nothing happened to anyone. You guys were okay. So like in the last game, it was like, oh, Mason, don't yift the fox. Don't do it. And then I did it and it's like, oh, okay, no big deal. But this time you said, oh, don't do it, Mason. And then something happened. You need to say like, no, like what happens in this legit, like will get you screwed. I didn't, you didn't see anything. Sick. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. What's going on guys? Welcome. Welcome to twitch.tv slash unique geese. Oh my gosh, we're back in hell. Five nights. Day shift at Freddy's? Whoa. Whoa, sorry guys. We haven't been live for a couple of days. Oh, let's go through the drawings to put up on the wall. All right, guys, let's go. Donald Trump? Oh, it's Donald Trump. I don't know. What does this have to do with Freddy's? Are you putting Trump up? Wait, it's 1987. Why does Trump look so old? Time for number two. <laughs> Whoa, who's that? It's a picture of Candy the Cat, a character from the competitor's restaurant. How is it how is it so hard for kids to just draw Freddy or some actual character from this restaurant chain? No, if I, if I put that up, I'll get strangled. I don't want to do that. It's Shadow Doggo. Whoa. It sure is mysterious. Wow, such lore. Oh! Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Gosh darn it. No. Mysterious giant scuttlers. Lord, they have even mugged one of the customers for that pack of chips. <laughs> what the hell am uh, I looking uh, at? Giant mysterious scuttlers. Most unclean restaurants like Candy's Burgers and Chips have cockroaches and rats. We have mysterious giant scuttlers and doggos. Employee, I need you to fight them off. I'll go protect the pizza. Sure, I'll fight them off. Uh, uh, Thanks, employee. Uh, Good luck. Hey, you scuttler, get out of here. Oh my God, that's so gross. God, fuck. I have to actually fight him. Smack. It took no damage. Just keeps scuttling menacingly. Oh, we got it. I saw the dogs. Look at them. They're so cool. Let's go, W baby. Yay, our first day, chat. Yay, we did it, chat. We did it. Good job today, employee. No fires were started and no robots assaulted me. Uh, uh, you behaved yourself well today, employee. Good job not getting uh, fired. What? Everything's in order. You're all free to go now, employee. You passed the first day. See you tomorrow at the grand reopening. Yay! Today was an all right first day. You learned a lot about working the day shift again. This, and this new restaurant sure is big, eh? Tomorrow is the grand reopening. Probably gonna be really busy. I wonder where Dave is though. He hasn't been seen since he ditched you in Vegas. Oh, it's going right off that. Either way, what's done is done. Say goodbye to phone guy and leave. Tomorrow is another day. He cometh. Devour my hot bird out. Oh, 
The Nightman cameth. Who is the Nightman? Welcome uh, back, employee. Today's a big day, you know? Why is that? Uh, uh, Haven't you heard, employee? I said it yesterday a bunch of times. Today's the grand uh, reopening. You know? Yesterday was just a test run. Today is the real grand opening. And we're opening properly with a big party in just a few minutes. Sounds fun, no what do you need to do? That's what I like to hear. Here at Freddy's, we much prefer I like working in spring, sweaty spring lock suits too. Ouch, my lungs, I'm suing. Uh, Today's a big day. I need you to go get suited up as soon as we're done talking. You know, go put on the bear uh, suit. Uh, Every employee working at this location is here today, so we'll probably see lots of new uh, faces. Uh, Before we continue, I'm gonna go open up the store. <laughs> Stock photo kittens. I'm pro. I'm pleased to announce that Freddy, Fa Freddy Fazbender is number 51 has officially opened. Oh, they're so excited. So, um, Jeeva's heckin' create Cristo kitties, calm down. It's only a substandard pizzeria with decade-old robot, okay. They're so excited. Go put on your mascot suit and get out of here as soon as you can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, our buddy's back. <gasps> Animation! Why, hello there. <laughs> Whoa! He like turned to look at us. What a graphical upgrade, guys! It's a graphical upgrade. Oh shit! What up, Dave? Oh shit! What up, old sport? <laughs> I love that in this end, like we're going off the Vegas ending. So right now in the lore, we just like got done hanging out in Vegas and vibing, bro. I love it. Welcome back, old sport. I'm so happy. I didn't expect you to come back. Look who's back from Vegas. We sure did a lot of coke, and we banged a lot of hookers. Fuck and yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I left you in that cardboard box on the side of the Oh, uh, it's okay. But you were hogging all of the coke, old sport. That's fine. You made it home fine, old. I sure did. Didn't you, old sport? I sure Why did. Is the odds car? Of course, shit will go down again, old sport. Last time was fun, old sport. But... I'd like to see what we can do this time. I think we can create something really beautiful together. Old sport. See, old sport. I want to offer you immortality. Immortality? Slow down. Immortality? Yes. Old sport. Immortality. This old chain doesn't have much time left. The constant string of murders things can be over in the Midwest out competing for any... Freddy's is one last incident away from being shut down forever. I say that it's time to destroy Freddy Fassbenders. All right, bet. No matter what, we're still on contract. We can't leave, old sport. Why would I want to leave, or... Couldn't I just get fired? Wait, what's stopping me from just you leaving? You legally can't. The fuzz will get you yet. Of course, if there is no more Freddy's, we're free, old sport. Read to some. kill the bear. We don't have to destroy it. We merely have to slit its throat. Uh, what are you proposing we do? Point. I like that. Basically, I have the ultimate scheme in mind. I call it Orbition Man's Handy and the Tree Step Plan. Let's go. The plan is foolproof, but I need Blackie to help me pull off some of the dirty work. Step one involves one of us luring five kids to the sale from using a fucking bear suit. Yes, sir. That one of us is you. So, what do you say, old sport? You win. Hmm. Well, of course. I Let's have, have some fun. You, old sport. Of course. I'll help you get suited up. Yay. Help me get suited up, Daddy. Put me in the bear suit. You look fantastic, old sport. Aren't I so hot and attractive? Aw, thanks, Bay. Go out there and start luring kittens. Let's I'll go. Follow you out. Ooh, yeah, baby. Let's get it. I'm so excited. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh shit! What up, kittens? You should come back to the same room with me. Oh. Hello there, old sport. Have you abducted them yet? Not yet. 
I was literally about to okay. do that. Okay, I was just asking. How about now? <laughs> no, I have not. Fine, fine, I get it. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm really enjoying our time together, old sport. I swear to God, Dave. Jeez, fine. We'll just do it together. Follow us, kids. I'm totally not a child murderer. What he said. Oh shit, kids, you've done it now. <laughs> they look so happy and scared. Sorry, kids. Nothing personal. Sorry, kids. First rule of Freddy's in life and general. Don't trust fucking Don't furries. Don't trust adults who spend all day dressed in fucking animal costumes. Close enough. Bing bong, bing bong. Yay! Good job today, employee! The grand reopening was a massive success. Uh, there were crowds of kids everywhere. The best day we've had in forever, I think. Uh, you know? There's still one small thing that I wanted to ask you about, though. Uh, um, uh, a couple of parents had trouble finding their kids before we decided to lock up. Uh, uh, I tried explaining to them that there was probably no need to be worrying, that their kids probably just wandered off, but... Uh, 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 employee? If you saw anything weird during business hours, you'd tell me, right? Thanks for the help, old sport. Come see me in the safe room tomorrow. Stick with me, old sport. I'm gonna make you a star. Did you just take a call during our meeting? Who was that? Who could? Who just called you? Was that a New York accent? Did I hear him call you old sport? That was Dave, wasn't it? Uh, you shouldn't be mixing that with that Dave guy. He's uh, uh, a bad egg. Whatever you say, uh, sir. You know. Good, good. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Do you hear that? Should I follow the noise? We gotta find out. coming from this large gift box. I wonder what's inside. Did you hear that? What was that? Bad voice, Keith. Really bad voice. We'll see you later. You won't stay between us and our happiest day. Neat. It's time to go, Geese. Tomorrow's another day. Ploy, uh, welcome back. It's good to see you again. Uh, I, uh, uh, day three, eh? Wow, you're doing so well. Most day shift workers usually bleed out and die in the dumpster outside Freddy's by now. Uh, what usually kills them by now? Oh, you know, crazed toddlers, killer robots, springlock suits. Those golden heckers kill so many darn people. <laughs> to be honest, Freddy's is kind of inherently evil and dangerous for employees. Employee, let's continue our little chat in the security office. There's something the two of us need to speak about. Sure, that's fine. Let's go. Uh, whatever. Employee... I want you to be honest with me, please. Oh, wait. Did you have anything to do with the kids who went missing yesterday? Nope, I didn't know nothing. Uh, uh, uh. Employee, this is important. If you saw anything awful happening here, you'd tell me, right? Yes, I would. Uh, uh. That's good. That's, uh... I'll see you later, employee. And remember, I'm counting on you, employee. Oh! Whoa! I am a man in a candy the cat suit. I work for candy swappers and chips. Okay. Home of the whopper. Okay. I will now shoot up this restaurant for entering in on candy's territory. Aaron snack bar. Employees gonna shoot up the restaurant. Do something. I don't have a taser. You need the taser? You should have bought a taser. I didn't know that I needed to have a taser. Piss your pants. Oh my god, it's a uh, whole flo- uh, Employee! Uh, really? This is for candy swappers and chips. Home of the discount flamed grilled whopper. Exclusive to candy swapper. Uh, uh, is this a shooting or an advertisement? Just get it over with already. Oh, right. 
See you all in hell. This is for you, Candy. What? Why, hello there, old sport. What's going on, Dave? You took your married little time getting here. Sorry. Old sport. Sorry. I, literally, it's 12. Don't get worry about it. Up in traffic. Four. Phony kept me back, wanted a word with me. You didn't tell him any. Nope. Uh, these lips are these lips are sealed, Governor. Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> so stupid. He doesn't even know he's alive. We're in the clear. I reckon time for the next part of what is she a man's handy dandy tree step plan. Follow me, old sport. We're going to the prize corner. Yay, the prize corner. What's at the prize corner? Here we are, old sport. All right. The prize corner. You can just smell the child labor in these prizes. Yay. Oh, hey there, Matt. Hi, Matt. Oh, hello there, David. David. Stop calling me David, Matt. I see that you're still a virgin. <laughs> yes. Good for Matt. Okay, I'm gonna turn away now. <laughs> okay. I never liked him, old sport. I know we're child murderers, but that's a creepy son of a bitch if ever I've seen one. <laughs> Agreed. Anyways, see this music box, old sport. I do. Basically, old sport. There's a marionette in here that demands to be wound 24-7. That shit's whack. Yeah. Oh, if True. we don't end it, he'll pop out and drip off our testicles. We found that out earlier. Good. Obviously, we need those old sport for Vegas. True. He's also possessed by this fucking toddler who died back in Fred Bass. My fault entirely, old sport. Still, I hate this felty puppet bastard. I have a very practical solution to this problem. <laughs> You may be able to float, use telekinesis, and give life to dead children. But there's one thing that even you can defeat. Cheap pad ducks. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you plastic-faced bastard. Come on, old sport. I'll show you the next part of my plan. Okay, what are we doing here, We're Dave? We're here to tamper with the fucking robots. We love but tampering with the robots. Bam. Okay. I'm gonna spend today tampering with these old fucking robots. You have your own job to do today. Okay. I need to tamper with the criminal recognition system inside those fucking robots. I swear, those things will try to murder us at some point. So maybe it's good as we get a head start. They definitely know that I'm a child murderer. You worked in Colorado, so they're gonna see you as a criminal too. The only way to pull this off without a hitch is to tamper with their criminal recognition systems. Can I trust you to do that, old sport? Um, sure, whatever. I'm, uh, yeah, sure, I can do That's that, fam. That's great, old sport. I knew that you'd be willing to help me. Go tamper with those boy fuck brains and then get back here. Let's get some work done. Let's get some work done, chat. Oh my you fucky! Pervert, 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 pervert. Oh dear. Toy chicken has detected you as a criminal. What do? Uh try to shield my face. Zap zap, motherfucker. A controlled shock. You in this round, Kitty Strangler. Tamper with Toy Freddy. I'm a happy little British boy. <laughs> I, can, I can smell purple bubble. Bu bu oh you yes, daddy. That hurts, that hurts. Fuck so this, I'd rather work. quit game development than type this dialogue out. <laughs> I still hate that thing. That's all five toys. Now that you're no longer on the criminal record, is it... Okay, time to return to Dave. Beautiful. What's on, old sport? I've done it, Dave. Frank B. Well fucking done, old sport. You did good today. Yay. I'm proud of you, Thank old you. sport. You're gonna be a star when I'm done with you. Yay! That's step two of what is she, man, tell the bandy tree step plan all done. Tomorrow. We'll pull off the last step. 
Go home and take the showers. I'll call you later, old sport. Yes, what? sir. Kissy face, blush and nod. These two are so gay, dude. These two are so gay. Purple and orange guy? No shot, dude. Nobody died today. Well, that's good. I was watching you today, employee. I know you tampered with them. You messed with the robots. I see y'all, employee. Uh, uh, Get out of my sight. Oh, you got a text from Dave. It reads, Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. Today we are gonna determine how much gay pride is in Dacia Fat Freddy's too. Hello there, old sport. I have possessed Mapat's body to say you get no bitches. Damn. My gear is old sport. It cured some jump. It is I, cure is the Davy. Meet me in the same room tomorrow, old sport. To sweet the deal, I shall set you some gravy. What the hell does he mean by gravy? What's that code word for? Drugs? Pornography? A severed horse's head? Head? Oh, wait. Here we go. <gasps> Is this what Dave means by gravy? Fucking hell, Dave is dog in a box. Employee, wow. Day four. It's great to see you again. I, uh... You know what? No. I'm cutting the crap. That's what this is. You're doing the very best to ruin our lives. My life. Whatever do you mean, sir? Cut the crap, employee! You can't fool me. I'll look through the security footage. I know what you and Dave did. And I know what you are. I know you're a monster. What should have I expect? What should have I expected? What should have I expected, right? You bailed with Dave back in Colorado, left us in a burning building. You're a monster. Oh, Was that not good enough for you? <laughs> There's police everywhere, employee. They're investigating us. They're going to shut us down. Why did you do this? Dave offered me freedom. Oh, a way out. I could have helped, employee. I could have been that way out. But you did this. I should have known better than to trust a snake. Uh, uh, Get out of my sight. Don't you dare tell any tell anything to the police either. If you tell the police anything, you're gonna wish they can stop what I'll do to you. Yeah, we'll save the game. Phone call. Oh, sport. Hey. You want to caught up in something right now? Unfortunately. What happened? I'll meet you in the safe room at closing time. Oh shit. What the old sport? <laughs> Expecting phone face and not old baby. No, I was just kind of waiting on you. Oh, hey, Dave. Why, hello there, old sport. I'm glad you could join me, old sport. We're ready to execute the final step of Orbishi Manta and the Bandy Tree Step Plan. See, these three steps were decided by me in a motel in Reno, Nevada. Okay. The three steps most likely to show down Freddy Fassbend is forever. Step 1 was slaughtering a fuck ton of cuddlers. Step 2 was eating kebabs and tampering with the robots. Sorry, old sport. I never told you about the kebab. Yeah, what the fuck? I wanted a kebab. Well, I mean, maybe I would. Maybe I would have liked a kebab. I know, old sport. I Dude. Know. I truly am a rotted sack of shit. I wanted a kebab. Anyway. This last step, oh boy, if old Henry was around to see what I have cooked up, now then, old sport, we're going to the safe room. I nicked the keys from- Okay. To the safe room! What's going on in there? What's the plan? Here we are, old sport. Now, I'm going to tell you the last step of my handy, handy tree step plan. Okay. Essentially, my plan is this. You see the spring for any suit over there? Yeah. Laying in the corner like a not paying parasite. Sure. Uh, yes, I can see my suit okay. over there. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on my plan now. Basically, imagine how fucking cool it'll be if that suit went off during the show tomorrow. That's right, old sport. There's gonna be a fucking show tomorrow. And don't expect the employees to wear those fucking suits. What if we rig the suit to go off with somebody inside? But that's my suit. What if it wasn't old, old sport? 
Oh. If we turn the blade tomorrow, we'll spoil it. Only make Jimbo the janitor win that suit. Not Jimbo! I'm basically proposing that we grease up every spring block in the suit. Or better yet, chant the suit full of silly puppy. I think that'd be great banter, you know. Oh, come on, not Jimbo. It has to be somebody. Old sport. Better him than us. We could stay back here whilst we stuff the suit full of silly puppy. I could crack open a few beers, talk about Fred Russ and Striper faxes. What do you say, old sport? I won't be part of Jimbo's death. Do it to your damn self. Oh, definitely, let's maim this janitor. Eh, sure, why not? Fuck that, old sport. I've never gotten to kill a janitor before. Yes, actually you have, I was oh, there. I have. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> old sport. Vegas, bro. I'll go rob a convenience store. I'll come back with beers, I swear. Okay, several hours later. I'm back, old sport. Hey, welcome How's back. Rigging? Coming along. Uh, fine. Fine overall. A lot of put. A lot of putty in this suit now. Yeah, I should hope so, old sport. I may have shot a man. What? I also got the beer. Woo! Old sport. Hell yeah, boy. Crack and open a cold one with old sport. Yes, sir. You wouldn't have known Henry, would you have old sport? Uh, no, I never met the guy. Not surprising. He's been dead for a good few years now. He helped me run Fred Bear's family diner back when I went by the name William Afton. The lore is getting deep here. Wait a minute. The lore is actually getting deep. So Dave did go by William Afton, and he changed his name to Dave after Fred Bears. I ran the diner and killed kids there. And we killed kids at Freddy's to make sure our competitors never overtook us. He was a pink to my purple. If both restaurants had deaths and scandals, they could not succeed us and buy us out. Henry and I made a game out of it. We both tried to automate each other. What? Henry tragically met us make a years ago. Freddy's bought us out and bought the Fred Bear character. Fuck that. That's why I'm getting this place shut down. They destroyed my dream, so I'm destroying theirs. Wow. I changed my name today, and I took Henry's last name, Miller. Dave Miller. What about you, old sport? Is your name really old sport? Nope, my name isn't even Geese. I swear to God, you crack me up, old sport. You're a real funny bastard, you know that? Killing kids and your faxes. Good times. Good times. Once we're done here, we <laughs> can go to Vegas. Yes! You and me. More! I want to go to Vegas again. Can you actually go to Vegas in this Orange game again? Man and what machine, man. Inseparable. Yes, sir. Be stripper facts Woo! As far as the eye can see. I love hot foxes. I mean, wait. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Please. I'm looking forward to that day, Dave. Many hours of stuffing silly putty in the suit later. Oh, Anyways, yeah, that's icky. Moving on from social commentary, I'm fuck the MILF robot. Which one's the MILF robot? Which one's the MILF robot? Wait, what were you just talking I about? I can't remember. MILF robots, I guess. So, a uh, suit coming along well. Optimal putty content. Good shit, old sport. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? Make sure to show up late tomorrow. I know I'll be. What? Make sure to come in. You wouldn't want to miss the show. But now. I'll see you later. Good riddance. I mean, goodbye, old sport. <laughs> Good riddance. But we're friends. We're lovers. Become the day man? Is this a- wait, I'm sorry. Is this a giant reference to It's Always Sunny? The night man. Yeah. 
Is that what this is? Is this just a giant It's Always Sunny reference? That is insane if that's the case. I've not seen It's Always Sunny in a very long time. Oh. Wait, that's us. That's us. I put on a hat. That that was us. That was us. We went into the locked room. The front door is locked. Oh, the so wait, we were... We were following them. You're ready to face the night, man. You just now noticed this? Yes. This is news to me. I've been expecting you, Wizard Freddy. It's literally, it's always sunny. What the fuck I'm is not this? I'm Wizard anymore. I am the banisher of darkness, the ruler of light, the master of karate and friendship for everyone. <laughs> I once was a bear robot. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I am the day man. Whatever, bitch. Let's rumble. Oh, God. As the day man, you have access to light based spells to use against the night man. Okay. Light powers. Um, piercing light! Holy shit! Oh, we were victorious. No, I have been defeated. Get out of here, you sack of shit. Holy fuck. Withered Freddy, my love. You once were a bear robot, but now you're a man. Well, naturally. I am the banisher of darkness, the ruler of light, the master of karate and friendship for everyone. I am the day man. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck was the purpose of any of that? Yay! Well, this is desolate. Home sweet home. I could have sworn they live in a shed somewhere. Oh shit, I might go buy a doggo. Focus, geese. It's very late. It's time for you to get some shut-eye, I reckon. Why are we, why are we in this? Ah, uh, time to get some shut-eye. There's a doggo in the closet. At least you'll get a lion, since you and Dave are going to work late tomorrow. Is that my alarm? Good morning, geese. Ah, uh, isn't it a grand afternoon? It's almost two, you're already almost two hours late for work. Sport. It's me, Orbishy Man. How the fuck are you, Aubergine? Oh, please, old sport. Orbishy was my father. Call me Big Dick Davy. Yes, Big Dick Davy. It's almost 2 p.m., man. Old sport. I wouldn't be surprised if phonies called you nine times today. My phone says that I have 90 missed okay. calls. This show should have already started by now. It's time to show all these mugs of work. I'll meet you at work, old sport. In the meantime, enjoy a meme. Another meme! <gasps> now, do you think he actually just sent an eggplant, or was that his dick? Is that what the game's saying? Okay, that's just an eggplant. Okay. Sport. I regret to inform you that I have not in fact sent you a hot off the press damn may may. I have sent you a picture of my father. His father? Sorry about that. Oh. Old sport. I understand that this may be traumatizing for you. I'll... I'll see you at work, Dave. I'm gonna sneak into work and destroy the camera footage, old sport. In case Phony tries to show it to the police later, I'll meet you later in the safe room. Oh, Ram War, babe. Babe? He called me babe. Huh? Dave is a fucking delinquent, a hooligan. <laughs> Time to go to work, I guess. <laughs> Employee! You're three hours late! What's the meaning of this? I had business to deal with. You were having a lie-in, weren't you? Yes. Gosh darn it, employee. Lucky for you, I got Jimbo to wear your suit. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't seen Dave around either today. Where's Jimbo performing? 
Um, He's over there in party room two. I haven't actually seen Jimbo yet. There he is. Hey, Mr. Kwaton. Look at me. I'm the golden bear now. <laughs> Are you proud, father? Jimbo is his son? Uh, what? Jimbo, why aren't you dancing? I feel slightly sticky. Is it safe to dance in this thing? Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, yes. Dance to your heart's content. Okay, here I go. Bleeding, bleeding, pain, vast discomfort, pain. Oh, vast God. Discomfort. Oh, God. This is uncomfortable at all. Uh, oh, I. Oh, oh, no, I. Uh, uh, Calm down, everyone. Jimbo just had a bit of a fall. He'll be perfectly fine. Jimbo will not be fine, lads. Uh, uh, <laughs> everyone, leave the restaurant in an orderly line. So, uh, Except you, employee. Please, come with me. Well, here we are. Employee, let me tell you something. I'm a very good boss. I run this place every single day. I can usually see through bullshit quite easily. From the moment you got here, every damn thing that could have wrong, gone wrong has gone wrong. You lured off kids and killed them with Dave. You tampered with the robots and lied to me several times. I'm pretty certain you had something to do with that suit going off during the show. I certainly, it certain, certainly explained why you arrived so late today. You didn't wear, you didn't want to wear that suit. You rigged it to go off. Bravo, Sherlock. Why me? A murderer? Let me tell you something. I can see right through Dave. Everyone can. That guy's transparent. He screams fake, old sport this, old sport that. I mean, come on. Who says old sport? He's artificial, and I can see that a mile away. But you, you've killed, tampered, lied, and stolen. And the best part, you've destroyed every lick of evidence. All of the camera footage from this week is missing. I know you or Dave stole it just before the show. There isn't a damn thing that I can show to the police. You're cunning in a way that I've never seen before. Employee, I've got to hand it to you. It takes a lot. It takes the truth to fool me or close to it. And you've played me for a goddamn fool. You're a wolf employee, a suited predator, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I get it, I get it, I'm a monster, or rather an orange in a bear suit. I don't get you employee. You overslept this morning, but I don't get how you can get any sleep at all. Are you a father employee? No, I'm not a father. Well, I am. I'm not going to let you in on something you haven't considered. It's Christmas in a month. Did you know that? Well, yeah, of course I knew that. Well, picture something you haven't considered. Ten parents are going to wake up on Christmas morning this year. They're going to walk downstairs to their living rooms. And you know what they're going to see? Unopened presents under their Christmas tree. Those presents will never be opened. Those presents won't ever be touched. That's where they'll stay under the Christmas tree, stagnant and untouched. Those presents will remain still and dead. Doesn't that sound familiar? <laughs> oh, boo-hoo, I'm chaotic evil. That's the thing, employee. Unlike you, employee, I had to meet those 10 parents. I had to look them in the eyes and lie to them. I had to tell them that there's still hope that their kids can be found. I had to resist the urge to tell them to look inside of the robots so they could see their kids again one last time. That's right. Don't play me fool for a fool. I can smell them, employee. They're rotting and I can smell them. Heesh, too much information. Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I turning your stomach? Is this too much for you? My, aren't we a sensitive child murderer? Did you even find out what those five children's names were? 
I did. I've been hearing those names nonstop for the last three days. Those parents know what happened to their kids. There's been two funerals so far. I attended the both of them. They lowered empty caskets into the ground. You and Dave didn't even leave anything for them to bury. Stay silent. You murdered small children, employee. Do you think they were even old enough to understand what you were doing to them? God, I hope not. I cannot believe you've been sleeping. I haven't slept at all week. Employee, I need to know. Please, be honest with me for once in your life. Do you feel any remorse for what you've done? Any at all? Even a twinge of regret? We both know that I don't. I thought as much. I see the truth in our employee. I can see what you are. You're soulless. I can see it in your eyes. We all can. And you are? Humans don't have phones for heads. I'm more human than you ever will be. Hell, the robots here are more human than you are. Especially after you put people into them. You're a monster. I can see through that concealer. We all can. You have scars, deep, deep scars, scars from an accident that nobody in their right mind could survive. You look like you're decomposing. Whatever you are, you aren't human. Perhaps you once were, but you're certainly not now. Oh, and before I forget, you're fired. I'm done with you. Never come back. Now get the fuck out of my office. Hey there, old sport. What's on? What's with that orange grimace you have going on? Funny just fired me and told me to never come back. Oh, is that right? I don't like that old sport. Not one bit. This is his fault, old sport. I think it's time. Look, this isn't something I predicted did happen. My plan involved finishing up today and going straight to Vegas. What? It seems that this is bothering you. Oh, sport. I just want to go to Vegas. We've had some real adventures together. We've killed ship, tampered with ship, stolen ship. We've fucked up a lot of ship, old sport. What? Those were all just petty schemes. We murdered kids, man. Me, this ain't petty. I say that we have one last grand performance. We're gonna pull one last stunt. We can go down with a bang. And the cannon will be aimed at phone face. But what about Vegas? Worry not, old sport. I still want to go to Vegas. Vegas will still be there when we're done here. Now, let me fill you in. Basically... Remember what we did in Colorado? Uh, you mean murdering children? No, not that. The other horrible thing I did. The body moving, the murdering, the tampering. No, none of those. The last thing. I tampered with the robots. I rigged up Brett Brent Farford and knocked shit over and wreak havoc. I, I remember that. I do remember that. I remember that. The place burned right. down. Old sport. Glad your brain isn't spaghetti now, after all that shit. Just between the two of us. I have big fucking plans, man. What if history was to repeat itself? Oh? We could rig a different robot this time. I have two perfect ones in mind. They're sitting in the parts and service room. Let's go give them a visit. What ones are you thinking? Ooh. Here we are, old sport. Be all the salt of the earth, the cream of the crop. As you can see, I picked the two optimum choices. Bad Doon Child and the Moldy Facts. Save the spot. I can't save the game right now. I can't save the game right now. I wish I could. No other robots would cut it this time. Oh no. We're going all out, old sport. 
I've calculated some shit, and determined that these are the two robots most likely to traumatize Stone Face. It's time, old sport. Years from now, they're gonna remember this shit fest dance, the vibe of 87. Oh. Since you've been a real son of a gun till this point, I'll let you choose which one of these assholes I beautify. Keep in mind, I only have the time to get one robot done for tomorrow. Go ahead, old sport. Choose one. Hmm. BB, Balloon Boy, or the Fox? We'll hold a poll. I'm gonna let you guys pick. And we'll end the poll there. It looks like we're going with Foxy. I choose the weird looking pirate fox robot. Oh, you chose the fake of the fame. What a grand choice, old sport. Sorry, let me explain. I once threw Faxy into the Grand Canyon to fuck with Phony. Yes. Wait, is this V1? Wait, is this the one that he threw? Canyon. We do that again this time? That was just awful, old sport. Corny is done of 1987. Oh. I'll get working on the robot as soon as you leave, old sport. I think we're all set. If you'd like to ask me something before you go, now's the time. Um... Are we still going to Vegas, Papa? You bet your ass we are. Yes! Sportsy. Yes! Tomorrow night. We're gonna be up to our asses in blackjack and dookers. Yes! Tell me more about Henry. Oh, he was a really swell guy. He helped me out after the company bought Fred Bear's family diner. Killed a lot of kids to keep us in the black. Let me tell you, he was an artist. You should have seen the stunts that this son of a bitch blow. Ever hear of the Freddy's blowtorch urinal incident? What the fuck? The blowtorch? The blowtorch urinal incident? Seventeen fucking people ended up hospitalized in the aftermath. What the fuck? Henry is the reason the company had to start putting cameras in the bathroom. Let me tell you, if I not listen to your solace, he's devil incarnate. What? I'll end this conversation here. After all, it's rude to talk about someone who's listening. True. Uh, tell me about the diner. Who worked oh, there? not that many people. Before Freddy's bought it, Henry and I worked the day shift. We had a quit name, Ronaldo. Oh! Are you sure he got a job at Freddy's? Yeah, that's the same Fred chef that's here. Closed down. Uh, that's the same chef. Pretty good chef. Knew how to use human meat effectively. Oh! We also had Night God, but I don't remember a lot about him. He had a mustache, if I recall correctly. He got stuffed into one of our spare suits, I think. Henry told me that he walked in on a guy dying in one of the suits, right in front of him. He didn't even put the poor bastard out of his misery. He just left him let the poor fucker ride away by himself, in the bloody suit. Unable to even move, let alone screamed out for help. I tell you, even by my standards, Henry was one cruel fucker. How do you feel about a horror a fret how do you feel about a Freddy's horror attractions like FNAF 3? I'm gonna be honest, old sport. If I end up as an exhibit in a horror attraction, as a rotting corpse, stuck in a green bunny costume, I'ma be real pissed. <laughs> That's funny, because he does end up he does end up like yes. that. Go home and dressed up. Old sport. He, that's we exactly how he ends up. <laughs> us, and I don't want you to miss a second of it. Goodbye, old sport. For now, I bid you happy you. I love you, man. Thanks for all of the help. I love you too. See you at the party, old sport. Oh shit. It's going down now. What's going on? Oh wait, that's... That's Henry. And there's us. 
we were the night guard at Fredbear's. Help. Me. That's us. He just left laughing. It's me. What? I... Oh, thank gosh. Just my Freddy's brand alarm clock. Must have fallen asleep at my desk again. Oh, gosh. Today's Saturday, isn't it? Uh, you know? Alright, Scott, today's the day of the party. Your last chance to fix everything and make everything right. Uh, uh, you can do it. It's just one party. One measly sting operation. You've held parties before, Scott. Uh, what? I better go see if the others are ready for the party. Oh, wait. <laughs> Matt, my lad! How are you, my boy? I'm good, Mr. Carlton. Do you need something? Uh, great, uh, great. Uh, have I ever told you that you're my favorite employee, Matt? That's a lie, isn't it? Uh, uh, okay, you've caught me. What do you want, Scott? Uh, uh, I need you to uh, do me a favor, Matt. What is it? So, uh, do you remember Geese? Isn't he that guy you fired for strangling like a bunch of kids or whatever? Orange guy. Smells really weird. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Geese. If he turns up to work today, I need you to let me know. Uh, the police are going to be here later, and they need to sit Dave down and have a good long chat with him. Uh, you know. It's essentially the orange one isn't the isn't in the building. It's essential that the orange one isn't in the building while it happens. Uh, uh, uh. Dave and him are scarily good when they work in pairs, but when he's alone, Dave's a complete mess. These things happen sometimes. I need this to go well, Matthew. If you see him here, tell me immediately. Uh, uh, okay? You know. Can you do that for me, Matt? Sure thing, boss. I'll do that, or whatever. Thank you, employee. Tell me if you catch even a glimpse of him, okay? Catch you later, Matt. One down, one to go. Oh, my head's ringing. Hello, this is Freddy Fazbender's Bakersfield, California. This is Scott speaking. This is the LAPD. We are calling to make sure you're ready for today. Oh, thank gosh. It's you guys. Yes, uh, I'm ready as I'll ever be. I fired Geese, like I said I would. The employees want, the, the employees know to watch for him in case he tries to come into work. Good, good. We know to go for him after we've gotten Miller, as per your instructions. Uh, you know? Don't forget your part of the bargain. We hand over Dave, and you don't shut down Freddy's, right? Correct, sir. We're making our way down to Freddy's now. We'll be there for about 4 p.m. Uh... 4 p.m.? Oh, no, that's far, far too late. By 4 p.m., he could have missile... He could have a missile launcher built, or he could fill the plastic bear with whipped cream. That man's diabolical. Mr. Coffin, you called the Los Angeles Police Department because you wanted the best chance of capturing your killer, right? Uh, yeah. If we're going to drive out to Bakersfield, we have a 112-mile journey ahead of us. At earliest, we can make it by 4 p.m. All you've got to do is let Dave do his thing. We'll be there to arrest him in a few hours. Can you do that for us, Mr. Cawthon? Uh, uh... I... Okay. Be here for 4 p.m. I'll do my best to keep Dave busy until you arrive. Get him in a suit and out in the open. The suit will limit his visibility, making the capture easier. So, uh... Okay, will do. Um... Uh, Wait, hold uh, on. I got a call on the other line. Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, is this Scott Thompson? What's Dave doing? Uh, 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 yes, it's me. Is that you, Dave? Uh, uh, Why did you call my phone head, Dave? I need to ask you a question, Scott. Uh, uh, Where are you? Why aren't you in work, Dave? You're late for work, employee. Uh, you know. Okay, what's the question? And Freddy, do you have children inside your robots? Uh, uh, what? I... What? Oh, you do? Well then, you'd better let them down. Uh, uh, Dave, I swear to gosh and golly gee, 
If you don't come to work right now, I'm going to. Dave, don't you dare hang up that phone or I'll grab your. What was that? What was that word? Dave, you mother hacker. Mr. Coffin, is everything all right? Hello, Mr. Coffin, are you still there? Uh, Please be here soon. Uh, you know. That Dave's definitely up to something. Uh, uh, Knowing uh, him, he's going to show up any minute now. Probably drunk, and holding some sort of hostile reptile. Uh, 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 okay, I better check if everything's going okay over in the kitchen. There he is. There's our man. Uh, Ronaldo, the dough master, the master uh, of dough. Whatever. How's the pizza making going? I guess we're running low on toppings. Oh, wait. I see. If you want, sir, I could always dumpster die for meat. Uh, no, come on, Ronaldo. Uh, uh, we're already uh, being investigated for child murder. Do we really need to poison a kid by feeding them literal garbage from our corpse dumpster? Uh, uh, just make do with what you have. Well, there is always other sources we could get meat from around here. Uh, no. Uh, you are not serving doggo meat on pizzas. No, no, I mean, didn't our janitor die yesterday? I presume nobody knows about us. So, uh, Ronaldo, we are not eating our deceased janitor. We know what we did. You know what we do with workers who are caught in spring lock failures. I see. So... He's going to the factory, Ben. What is the factory? What? You okay there, Mr. Kazan? You know what? No. Uh, you know. I'm not sending Jimbo to the factory. The cycle's gone on long uh, enough. Uh, After uh, the police are done with Dave and Geese, I'm giving him an actual burial. Yes, sure thing, boss. So, that's a note on the whole dumpster meat thing. Uh. I'm afraid so, Ronaldo. Oh. Uh, you know. Yep, that'd be Dave, all right. I'll catch you later, Ronaldo. So, that's definitely a note on. Uh. Don't serve our customers dumpster meat. Goodbye, Ronaldo. The factory. So they send bodies to... Uh, what are they making at the factory? Where the heck is... Um, uh, Dave? Uh, Dave, are you around? Why He's got funny you? music. So, um, Dave, you came into work. Better late than never, I suppose. You're not gonna chew me out, Scott. Something to matter. Oh, wait. No, no, I, uh... I honestly don't have time to lecture you, okay, employee? We're very busy today, Dave. I need you to get suited up right now. Can you do that for me, Dave? No fucking way, Oni. I ain't wearing that filthy rabbit suit of yours. Make the janitor wear it or something. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. You're really pushing it, Dave. Go. Put. Your. Costume. On. Nah, fuck that shit. You wear the rabbit suit. Go get suited up right this second, employee. Nah, Oni. I ain't following the rules no ho. When have you ever done that? You murder children every single time you get a job here. I'm not putting on the damn suit, Scott. I'm done with your rules, Mr. Lawman. Uh, uh... Dave, I swear to gosh. You're gonna wear the rabbit suit, and you're gonna like it. You know what I'm gonna do, Oni? I'm gonna tickle you. He's gonna tickle me? Dave emerged. Really, Dave? A battle scene? You're so fired. You think I give a fuck? It's tickle time, Oni. I think phone guy would try to fight, plead. Dave, come on. Just wear the suit, okay? I refuse. I hate that suit. It's tacky, and it smells like slaughtered toddlers. It smells like slaughtered to toddlers because you slaughtered toddlers while you were wearing it. Ain't I a goofball? 
Oh. Ouch, oh. Dave. That freaking hurt. Uh, uh, you told me you were going to tickle me, not hit me in the chest. I also told you that I wasn't gonna murder a bunch of kids this time round. I'm clearly not to be trusted. Uh, I've had it up to here with you, Dave. You're no when you're mad. <laughs> Ooh, nice hit. Only. I almost felt it. Try this on full size. Uh, uh, Ouch! Uh, Stop hitting the phone! Chill out, man. I'm just having some fun. Uh, you know. Is killing children your idea of fun, Dave? You think I kill kids cause I find it fun? I don't just strangle kids cause I find it fun. I'll have you know. Uh, uh, oh, do educate me. Why else would you murder kids? The revenge. Uh, uh, Re revenge? What a load of... What have I ever done to you? Oh, it isn't just you. Only. It isn't just everyone here, either. I'm not just killing children, Scott. I'm killing Freddy's. Uh, uh, I just don't get it. Why would you want to stay Five Nights at Freddy's? You've been doing this for so long. What kind of grunge could possibly force you to do... this? Freddy's ruined us, Scott. Freddy's destroyed my dream. Our dream. His dream. Uh, uh, Who is uh, he, Dave? You're scaring me now. Freddy's is the worst. Everyone loves Freddy fucking Fassbender. What? Nobody ever gives a shit about the people who have to live in that bear's shadow. Freddy's is the steamroller. It just runs over people. People who have dreams. Freddy's is too big for its own good. It's a monster. Monsters make people desperate, and desperation turns people into monsters. Freddy's creates monsters. I mean, have you ever looked in a mirror, Scott? Your head is a plastic rotary phone. Uh, I, uh, come on. You're a Let's monster, not bring the phone heads Scott. into this. Your life is fake. Your memories are manufactured. Your kids are fake. There's 50 more of you rotting in the factory. You are nothing. What? Pho wait. Are they making pathetic. the phone guys? This like, whole sting operation is pathetic. Are the phone people? Are they taking the bodies of employees that die and turning them into phone people? You don't think I haven't figured it out yet. I know what this is. You made some kind of deal with the fuzz and threw a fake party. The last guy I worked for tried that on old sport. Pinned it all on him. This party doesn't compare to the last one. I tell you, that one was fucking majestic. They got a police midget and put a latex baby mask on it. And they made old sport greet the birthday midget. And when he did, the fuzz tackled him. The fucker tried to do a flip in a springbok suit. I love that bastard. <laughs> Speaking of, I've distracted you for exactly the right amount of time. What do you mean, Dave? He's here, Scott. You didn't think I came here alone, did you? Oh, oh gosh, oh, no. Sport. Get in here. There we are! Why, hello there, old phone! I'm so proud of him. Uh, uh, Employee, uh, I, uh... Get out of here! I told you to never come back here, geese. Fuck off, phone face. That's my boy. Old sport. I presume it's ready. You bet your ass it is, Dave. I, I could count on you, sportsy. Only, we have one last surprise for you. Party one room, phony. Be there. Get bear. Get it. Cause there's like three bears in this building. Um, uh, uh, okay. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, if you'll uh, excuse me, I'll be in party room one in a frenzied state of damage control. Take your time, Scott. Oh, shit. Uh, what is that? 
I call this beauty nightmare fantasy. Oh, Sport and I worked on it last night, together. Oh, you must say this, Oni. We've turned your soulmate into literal nightmare fuel. Soulmate? F Foxy? What have they done to you? You sickos! This is beyond messed up! You gave it the, those teeth and... Why is it wearing lingerie? This is all wrong! You're a dick, phone man. You should have just left well enough alone. Only, this is what happens to people who don't know how to mind their own fucking business. Uh. Oh. Death. Bye. Facts. Oh, shit. Good fucking going, old sport. We've fucked up the phone's life yet again. So, Vegas? Vegas! Vegas! Yes! Please show them at Vegas. Fairly evil ending, baby. Woo! Hope you enjoyed this ending. Feel free to go back to your last save and rig Balloon Boy for a completely different outcome. Good job finishing the game. Now, uh, we're gonna go with Balloon Boy. Uh, an excellent choice. He hates this character, old sport. Don't we all? That the goddamn truth. I know I sure do. I'll get working on the robot as soon as you leave, old sport. I think we're all set. If you'd like to ask me something before you go, now's the time. Um, um. Wait, this is different. Wait, this is completely different. We're playing as geese now. Wait, we're not playing as phone guy. Dave's gonna call you any second. Yep, any second. Oh, did we spend a night together? Why, hello there, old sport. Hey, Dave, you been here long? Oh, since about 4 a.m. Uh, that's disturbing. Don't be shy, old sport. This is far from the first time I've seen you in bedroom. Oh. Christ. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, let's... I'm here to come pick you up, old sport. We have such big plans for the day. Okay. I hope you're ready to have some fun, sportsy. You know it. So wait, is this what... Wait, so like in the pre previous ending, he shows up late? Is this why he showed up late? Because he was picking up us? Well, let's see. Good. First item on the agenda. Let's have some pre-honeymoon fun. Oh. Take your phone. We're calling him. Wait, this is well, actually so well thought out. For, old sport. Whip it out. Uh, that's what she said. Dave, are you okay? You're staring, Dave. Sorry, old sport. It's been a while since I slept. I'm just so fucking excited. Have you been eating, Dave? Who has time to eat in these busy times? Go on, old sport. Take your phone out. Good going. Elderly again, old sport. I've always wanted to do this. Type in the numbers and call it out. Okay. Five. 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 Write this down, chat. Five. 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 One. One. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Shush. Is that a real phone number? Yeah. Is it just five 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 one nine eight seven? I know just what I have to say. Yeah, it's not a real number. Hello, is this Scott Carlson? 
Yeah, it's me. Is that you, Dave? Why did you call my phone head, Dave? I need to ask you a question, Scott. Where are you? Why aren't you in work, Dave? You're late for work, employee. Okay, uh, what's the question? And Freddy, do you have children inside your robots? What? I, uh... Oh, you do? Well then, you'd better let them down. <laughs> Dave, I swear to gosh and golly gee, if you don't come into work right now, Got I'm going to... Loss. See you later, broski. Dave... Don't you dare hang up that phone, or I'll grab your schmeckin' weapon and tear it off, you little... That was fun, old sport. So we, we are seeing the other perspective. Show ourselves. It's time to show phony what true horror is. You should clean yourself up first, though. Yeah, fine. I'ma look as fresh as a market plan, old sport. I use your shower. Old sport. <laughs> go to work and go terrorize phony. I'll follow you over after I'm done my shower. Okay. Fine, go shower. I'll see you at work. See you then, sportsy. There, gay. You arrived at Freddy's. Time to have some fun. Ah. Freddy Fazbender's. Your former workplace and a breeding ground for child murderers. Freddy Fazbender's home of the Whopper. Wait, that isn't right. Shit, yeah, that's candies. Fuck this, I'm just gonna find that. Oh, hey there. Orange guy. Hey, Matt. What are you doing here? Didn't Mr. Cawthon fire you yesterday for killing like 16 kids or whatever? Uh, that's my affair, Matthew. Okay, sure. Mr. Cawthon told us that if you appeared today, that we have to tell him. Tell him that I'm waiting for him. Okay, sure, if you say so. Goodbye, Matthew. See y'all later, scary orange man. <laughs> this is the perfect place to confront the phone. It's time. Scott Cawthon! Come out of the shadows! I'm here to finish what I've started. Get over here and end this, you coward. Geese, you came back. I told you never to come back here. Leave now or prepare to experience a whole world of hurt. Your ride here ends here, phony. Former employee. Just back away, okay? There's no need for... Phone guy emerged. No. Now, uh, former employee, there's no need for violence. Can we just settle this with words? It's time. Smack. <laughs> Fucking bitch slap him real quick. So that's how you want it, eh? Oh. So be it. Former employee, please, don't do this. We are number one. Dun, 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 dun. Call Scott's phone head. No effect. What the? His defense has been lowered to zero. Oh, we gotta slap him now. Oh wait. You don't have to do this, former employee. You don't have to fight me. Just calm down. Lower your fist. You're getting out of this beating, phony. <laughs> Why am I negotiating with the child murderer? Stand down. I'm gonna heal real quick. <laughs> okay, that was kind of pointless. I'll heal again. <laughs> He's doing enough damage that I... We'll, we'll, we'll smack. Uh, uh, There's no point to this former employee. Hurting me won't fix anything. Scott, you don't understand. I want to. Okay, we gotta heal. 
heal. Come on, fighting is incredibly overrated. Wouldn't you must ra much rather play a nice game of Time Scrabble or Travel Scrabble or Travel Scrabble? I don't know why I said time. You're not even damaging me, you're just making me suffer. I always play with my pro. You really are a monster. I can't save myself with words, I can't prevent this. dead okay okay i've had enough of this violence i'm not gonna fight you i know that i can't fight you i know what you are i know you'll keep coming back and i know that you'll outlive me so you'll never stop i know destiny when i stare at the face employee i know that whether or not i run or attack you one day you will step over my lifeless body without any hint of remorse you're incapable of stopping. I'm just prolonging the inevitable. Uh, what? It's all fabricated, you know? Every detail of my life, my family, my job. Oh, it's just a safety net. Something to prevent me from tearing my own head off. Uh, uh, I realize something. You want me to die far more than I want myself to be alive. Funny that. What? is this. Uh, uh, I can't bear this anymore. I can't bear being prey anymore. I can't bear being afraid anymore. Uh, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get it over with. Kill me. I uh, do it. I know that this is what this is leading up to. Or I know that's what this is leading up to. Kill me now. I'm begging uh, you. Go ahead. Just end it all. Right now. Get it over uh, with. Uh, Strangle uh, me. Shoot my head off. Snuff me out. I want to see Caroline again. Gladly. Why, hello there. <laughs> no sports. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Good timing, Aubergine. Best timing. Sportsy. Uh, 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 Dave. Oh, gosh. Thank Foxy you're here. Miss me. Phony. So, uh, I'm going to level with you, Dave. This man... Geese? Total psycho. In fact, I shouldn't even call him a man. It implies that he is human. I like old sport. Only, he's a swell guy. Dave, please cut the bullcrap. Just say bullshit, scum. This guy is all kinds of screwed up, Dave. This, is, this guy is all kinds of screwed up. Dave, you murder kids for a living. But even you have a twinge of humanity inside uh, of you. you. You have hopes and dreams. This creature? Surely you can see it, Dave. I'm right uh, here, man. Uh, uh, it doesn't have hopes and dreams. It thrives on death, destruction, and anarchy. It's a monster, he's Dave. my monster. Own face. Aw, they're in love. And he's a damn fine monster. Sheesh! He's fine. He's kitty strangler version two. Uh, uh, He's uh, hollow inside, Dave. Look at that soulless, empty grin. These things happen sometimes. Dave, I'm warning you. I only have a matter of time before you're next. Uh, uh, Please, you know. don't do this. Get rid of him. For your sake. I have made my mind up. Oh, and I'd love to keep chatting. But I think we're done here. I have distracted you awful long enough. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that, Dave? Check party room one. If you're quick, you might get one last glimpse of your son before he gets charmed. What? Wait, wait, no, oh god! Come on, old sport. We're gonna wanna see this. Oh, his son... Okay, I, was... I was expecting this to be a lot more graphic. What is that thing? What the hell is that? What did you do to the balloon child? Why is he holding Mike Jr.? Only since day one, you've been a right one in my side. Try not kill me. Try not fire me. Try not get rid of me, etc. Hell, 
I'm fairly certain that this whole party is a sting operation designed to capture me. I'm a big boy, Scott. Dad, I can't ache. What? Yesterday evening, you fired old sport. Uh... What does that have to do with anything? You hurt me. I'm mad. You kill me. I'm annoyed. What? Don't you dare ever lay a hand on my orange baby. They are so gay. Don't talk to me or my old sport ever again. <laughs> BB, show Scott what we do with snitches around here. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Mike Jr., no! <laughs> do you realize how much frontal lobes cost <laughs> you scumbags? Gosh darn it! Well, that was fun. Sportsy. We yeah. We fought his life on yet again. Woo! I consider this a job well done. I had fun, Dave. So, Vegas. Vegas. Let's go, old boy. Tomorrow is gonna be fucking legendary. Enough. What? I've had enough of the both of you. Wait, what? Who said that? Wait. Stop. Stop right now. Wait, is Fred Bear back? Who the fuck? Is Bread Bear back? It is I. Oh. The real Fred Bear. Fred Bear. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. Surprised to see me, you orange monster. That's no way to greet an old friend. You are no friend of mine. You know why I am here, don't you? Well, I have a hunch. You made a promise to me. You promised to save them. I gave you life. Don't you remember? Don't you care? I died long ago. You made a mistake. You're right. Showing you any mercy was a mistake. I regret giving you life. You were different. You went to Fred Bear to find her. Don't you remember? Yeah. I remember Fred Bear. Wait. You worked at Fred Bear's old sport. I was <laughs> a sheep. Ask him. Step aside. My quarrel isn't with you. Step aside, Dave. All right then, old sport. I'll be rooting for you in the sidelines. Oh. You made Captain look like a joke, and he's a child murderer. You make Henry look like a joke. You know what he did to her, don't you? You could have saved them, like you promised. Shut your mouth, Fredbear. Shut your damn mouth. This eternal life isn't a blessing, Fredbear. You have cursed me. I'm done with your rules, Fredbear. Promises are made to be broken. If I can give you life, I can certainly take it away. I've been waiting for this for a long On time. Bar, orange man. Oh, fighting? Don't worry, Orange Man. This is only going to hurt a lot. Oh, I'm gonna tear your head off, Bear. Like to see you try. Tip, stay alive. Okay, we need to heal from the last battle. Okay, um, let's try to heal again. Okay, that was a lower roll. We will gaze upon the glorious spring locks. There's no effect on Fredbear. I've seen cooler spring locks. Alright, back to the fight. Bet. Take this, you bastard. Oh. Oh, we're down to one HP. Heal. Heal like a motherfucker. Heal like a motherfucker. Okay, we're gonna wait for a low roll. 
Okay. <laughs> Only 46 damage. You, see? you are the villain of this story. The universe is rutting against you. God is rutting against you. I'm rooting for you, old sport and don't know what's going on, but beat the hell out of him. I am God. That was a big hit. <laughs> this is gonna take forever, dude. What happens if we talk? You can't get out of this with words. You are beyond date out, guilty. You have nothing to say. I'll try to- going to hurt even more than the first time you died of my hands. I won't be bringing you back this time. It's time to destroy Fredbear. Every child that died at my hands, you can save any of them. They're all dead! <laughs> you can't save them! And you're a failure, Fredbear. Defense fell to zero. Every child that died in my hands, I killed them to lure you out. And if you've just faced me earlier, some of those kids would still be alive. You are a coward. Fred Bear has lost all will to fight. I'm gonna heal, just in case he does. Smack. He's dead. Orange guy was victorious. I failed them, orange man, and now I must pay for my failure. This was my fault. I couldn't even save one child. I couldn't even fix my biggest mistake. You! You've made your bed. Now lie in it. Do you think they would have wanted this? No. Of course they wouldn't have wanted this. But I do. Nothing of value was lost. Wow, old sport. I know we killed the fuck ton of children together. What? I think you just killed the fucking concept of childhood. <laughs> so? Vegas? Fine, old sport. Shoot, can I walk behind you? Oh. Why do you ask, David? Oh, I just don't want you to people die by his war. So, let's go. Tomorrow is. Let's just get going, okay? An ending. Damn. We're so. So, was there another ending there if I didn't. Because I was just picking everything that was purple. Was there another ending there that wasn't like Dave and I still are happy? Holy shit. Scaring me, old sport. Holy fuck, that grin, dude.
Hi, Shadow Doggo. What? I need to translate all of those, bro. I'm not going to translate them all. It's a, There's some cipher you got to put those into. This is who I am now. This is my legacy. What the fuck? Bro, we even got the fucking squirmy guys in the corner, bro. I'm the only one alive. You chose this. Who's in the back? Wait, is that Henry in the back? Wait, with the glowing eyes? Do you see that shit? Do you see that shit? Is that Henry? Turn back time and fix your mistakes. I don't want to play anymore, bro. This is so long. Go into the time traveling ball pit. Wait, what? Do a new game for a second. Only for the next couple lines. Welcome to the new and improved. Oh gosh, he's staring at me. Are you gonna hire me or what? Sorry, I froze up. It's just that uh, that stare of yours. You're creeping me out slightly. But who knows? Maybe you worked at one of these joints before. Maybe you have as much experience as you have. Please give me something to work with here. I've worked at the Colorado location. What? Aren't the police looking? Okay. So I think it's normal. So I'm guessing some of the dialogue. So me getting that ending where I killed Fredbear and killed everyone affects all of my future runs now. That was equivalent to the genocide route of Undertale. So if I play through this all again, it's gonna have different dialogue. Basically, you lock yourself into being evil. If you want to be good, you have to go into the pit. I think that right there in a YouTube video is a banger ending. That I just end evil. <laughs>